welcome back to another Cuz Bad Guys Tactical. In this, we're going to go over Deathstroke, Slade Wilson, otherwise known as the Terminator. This guy's absolute killer. He uh, has tons of run-ins with all kinds of heroes and bad guys. He runs into the Suicide Squad all the time. He runs into Batman all the time. He runs into Green Arrow all the time. He's a big bad guy for the uh, Teen Titans. In the new Ben Affleck Batman movie, uh, Deathstroke is going to be the new bad guy. Essentially, this guy is all over when it comes to uh, being in the DC Universe. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into his card. Right off the bat, looking at his rank, you can see that he is a sidekick for the Scarecrow crew. This is actually awesome because if you want to run the Terminator, Deathstroke, as your crew leader, you actually can. It makes it so you don't have to take somebody like the Penguin, you don't have to take Two-Face or Black Mask, you can actually just run Deathstroke and then have some henchmen. It freezes up a ton of points, makes it so you can run him in a crew. That being said, he is also a free agent with Hates, Batman, Green Arrow, and Law Forces. So of course the Terminator, the guy who is the assassin, kills people, does not get along with the good guys. Let's jump into his weapon. So he's got an automatic gun that has a damage of a blood and a stun, is rate of fire 3 has two ammo, is a firearm, which means that it wounds on a two plus, is light, which means uh, you can shoot it even if there's an opponent within five centimeters of you. Normally you can't do that. And it's short range, so 20 centimeter range. Next weapon, he's got a reinforced bow, which is two stun, uh, no rate of fire or ammo because it's a close combat weapon. It has handy, so rerolls to hit, and has reach, which means instead of needing to be in base contact, you actually have a reach of three centimeters. So this guy can whack people outside of being in base to base contact. His next weapon is a sword, which is a double blood, and has sharp, which is rerolling to do damage rolls. Uh, the reinforced bow and the sword as a combo for weapons is amazing. It means if he needs to, if he's going up against somebody that's hard to hit, he can choose to swing with his uh, bow staff because he gets rerolls to hit. But then if you've got a guy that you need to just put some damage on, uh, you can use the sword, which gets to reroll to damage. Uh, he, ha he is the Swiss Army Knife of this game. He can push out all kinds of damage. This guy's great. After that, let's go ahead and go over his stats. So he is Willpower 7, which is high-end for free agents, uh, low-end for leaders. He's really, really good with Willpower. He's Strength 3+, plus, which is amazing. It's on par with Batman. He is a monster. He's Movement 3, Attack 5, Defense 5, Endurance 8, Special 3. So Movement 3 is really good. Uh, attack 5, Defense 5 is amazing. He is all kinds of attack, all kinds of defense. And then Endurance 8 makes him a tank. He can suck up damage, but you, again, no guy in this game is invincible. You don't want to just have Destro just go after an enemy crew because he will get bogged down and taken down by way to numbers. Some lucky hits will go through. So just don't overextend with this guy and he will destroy things for you. All right, let's go ahead and go over two personal traits. First is Acrobat. This is an ability that makes it so he is incredibly mobile. Instead of his base movement being 10 centimeters, it's 12. And then he also ignores small obstacles. So he can flip over construction stuff. He can flip over cars. He can flip over other miniatures. His movement essentially isn't impeded. Acrobat also gives him dodge, which means he can dodge bullets. So if you've got green arrow shooting arrows at him, or if you've got 
Batman throwing batarangs or if you've got some police guy that tries to shoot him, as long as he has a movement counter, for each movement counter, he can try to dodge a hit as long as he rolls a three or less, which is going to be 50% of the time because he's movement three. All right, going on to undercover. Undercover is you get to, instead of deploying him normally, you can actually hold him until the end of deployment and then put him down 20 centimeters up to 20 centimeters outside of your deployment zone. So this guy, he he's like sneaking up on people. Uh, also makes him very, very good. This combos with his stealth. Uh, so stealth is normally in Batman, uh, you can only see 30 centimeters unless you're under light or something like that. Stealth means essentially you're a ninja. You're like super sneaky. Guys can only see you at 20 centimeters. So with him going up, with his undercover, he can still stay out of range of guns with his stealth. He, stealth is really, really good. Going on to the next, combo with Boa. Uh, having combo with the reinforced bow means that for every two attacks that he does with it, he gets an extra one. And because he's attack five, if you put uh, four attacks from his willpower into his attack those four attacks turn into six. So he like he gets 50% more attacks as long as you put two in there. It's totally worth it. This guy, since bow staff is uh, also is a reach weapon, he can stand in the middle of a group of henchmen, like with his acrobat. He can flip into the middle of their group and then put two attacks out on each of the henchmen and just blast a ton of guys because he has a ton of attacks with combo with with reinforced bow uh the next personal trait uh trait is going to be martial artist this is also really good for like flipping out into the middle of a big group martial artist says that if you're ever based by uh multiple people you don't suffer from uh uh, from being outnumbered on your defense. So his defense is never taken down because he's outnumbered. His next personal trait is counterattack. Counterattack is uh, it's a passive ability. You don't have to do it unless somebody attacks you, or you can choose to do it if somebody attacks you. Uh, you essentially spend a special counter. If you block one of any one of their attacks you get one free strike on them before they roll to damage you so if like a henchman or if like batman runs up to you and only has like one or two hits left and he punches you and you block one of his hits you can spend a special counter and get a free hit like a free attack on batman before he rolls to damage you so you can kill or knock out an enemy model before they even damage you. Counterattack is nasty, it's so mean. Next, we go on to special traits. His only special trait is soul armor. This is an awesome trait, because for three special counters, you essentially get to heal yourself. Healing is very, very, very rare in the Batman miniatures game. There are a few guys that have regen, which like heals a counter if you spend a special once a turn, and then there's only two medics right now uh, that can that can heal one damage a turn. Uh, so to be able to heal yourself in this game is huge. Uh, Deathstroke gets to heal two damage, so if he has two blood on him, he can just take those off uh, for spending three special counters, which is awesome. It's really, really, really good. All right, so ending out his character card, let's go with his reputation cost. So reputation, he costs 145 points, which is pretty steep. Like, he's one of the pricier guys in the game, but for paying that point cost, you get an absolute monster. This guy is a beast. And his funding is $250, which essentially is for his automatic gun because he has a ranged weapon. Uh, 
$250, not that expensive. Normally an automatic gun is actually $300. So you get it 50 bucks cheaper than you would normally get. Uh, plus if you take him as a sidekick uh, for the Scarecrow crew and then make him your boss, that funding goes away. You get, the, the funding is free because he's your leader. Uh, so let's go over the way I play this guy. Like, I have had him kill so many things. He's cut down Green Arrow. He's cut down three different types of Batmans. He's cut down Swamp Thing and Lobo. He is a monster. I've had him jump into a group of henchmen and knock out three of them by himself. Uh, that being said, you can't like think that this guy's invincible and have him go up against an entire crew by himself because he will get swamped, he will get bogged down, and eventually there will be those lucky hits that get through and damage him that he can't recover from. Like somebody will get a lucky knockdown against him and then everybody's just hitting him on twos and he can't block and he just goes down. So you can't, like don't overextend with him, but if you want to play with like the biggest, baddest guy in Batman and you want to play a bad guy, this is the guy to do it with. He is a monster because he's the Terminator. Essentially, this is the bad guy. All right, so weaknesses. What do I think this guy's weakness is? This guy's weakness is getting it in your head that you can kill stuff and you forget that the Batman miniatures game is an objective-based game. So most of the points that you get are actually from objectives. So sure, this guy's awesome. He can run out and kill all kinds of guys, but at the end of the day, you're only going to get like three to six points from him unless he has like a monster game and ends up killing a leader and a free agent and all kinds of stuff. Normally, your opponent is going to run away from him. You want to make sure that you use this guy to corral your enemy uh, and then kill any guys that get too close and use them to either defend your opponent's objectives or aggressively go after your own objectives. He, uh, so that's, that's what I think his biggest weakness is. All right, and this is my uh, paint job that I did for Deathstroke. I tried to follow as much as I could to the New 52 paint scheme. Uh, I, I think it came out really, really well. I like the way his metals came out, his oranges. Uh, seeing a miniature like this on the table when, when he's running after bad guys or police officers, it's just... It's like living a comic book. It's so much fun. And that's my tactical take on The Terminator, Deathstroke. And remember, cause bad guys. <laughs>